uh, Elon Musk. Let's start with that. Yilong Ma, uh, or America's uh, version of Yilong Ma, i.e. Elon Musk, who is fucking ew, whack, lame, not as cool as Yilong Ma, uh, is posting again on the timeline. Here's Felix saying they'll hunt him, but he can take it. Simple. He's the man who lies about everything. Elon Musk says political attacks on me will escalate dramatically in coming months. He, he is, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Victim over here. Uh, he came out as a Republican in the probably least surprising a bit of information. You know what I mean? It's like Elon Musk coming out as a Republican is like if Austin came out again right now. You know what I mean? Like if Austin, Austin Show, Mr. Show, who might be in the chat still, was like, hey, by the way, guys, uh, I have a really big announcement. Like, I'm gay. We'd be like, oh, wow, shocking. Uh, that's crazy. Elon Musk coming out as a Republican, also as crazy. So uh, poor billionaire Elon, Elon Ma, or sorry, uh, the, the Walmart version of Elon Ma is uh, out here fucking posting nonstop. Exxon is rated top 10 best in the world in environment, social governance, ESG. While Tesla didn't make the list, ESG is a scam. It has been weaponized by phony social justice warriors. SP Global Rankings has lo have lost their integrity. Wait, what? <laughs> That's pretty funny. What the fuck? Okay, that is, that is ridiculous. Straight up. <laughs> I am finding myself ag in agreement. That's weird to, say, uh, to think. But uh, yeah, Elon had uh, some fucking insane takes. Uh, uh, even going so far as to say like woke culture is a mind virus or something. I mean, I don't even, I don't even know. I mean, it's just like really weird shit. Okay. He's just been weird as fuck. Oh, before we forget, let's fucking blast off boys. What's going on? I forgot to, I forgot to blast off here. Retweet this. So people know, cause people don't know, unfortunately when I'm live sometimes. Yeah, here it is here. I, I, uh, I fucking retweeted that as well, but here, uh, so Elon Musk, is he buying Twitter? Is he not buying Twitter? Wait, what the fuck? Something wrong with my Twitter. Um, Elon Musk, is he buying Twitter? Is he not buying Twitter? We don't know. But also, the more he's not buying Twitter, the more he gets uh, bold on his posting. Uh, he, he is now officially in his divorce dad podcaster era. I mean, when was he not? I don't know. But he says, political tax on me will escalate dramatically in the coming months. Howard Foreman, the Howie, says, oh, God, I hate it when people do the triple parentheses like... Like, liberals love doing this as, like, a way to reclaim. Liberals love doing this as a way to, like, reclaim the triple parentheses. Like, to be like, yeah, I'm Jewish. Like, look, at the triple parentheses. I'm like, dude, why, why are you doing... Don't do that. Like, don't do that. It's like... Anyway, I, I just don't like it when, when I see... Reclaim what? The triple parentheses in Nazi circles implies someone is Jewish. Okay? It's to say... It's to say Jew in a pejorative way uh, without actually openly saying it. How do you guys not know that? Like they'll say triple pre in triple parentheses, they. Don't join the discourse if you aren't Jew. Man, shut the fuck up. Like, I'm not. I'm not Jewish, but you know what I, you know what I am? Someone who is very fucking knowledgeable on, on alt-right radicalization on the internet, who's been duking it out since, uh, for a very long time, okay? Half the, half the Jewish people in this chat don't even know uh, the fu what the triple parentheses meant until just now, okay? He said, stay out of Jewish people's business, dude. That's so funny. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, bro. Yeah, Felix gave me the pass, guys. My mom is running against the Zionists with 100k backing. Sag. Okay, so, Yi Long, like I said, Yi Long Ma, actually an advocate for uh, unions and, the, and, and global communism. Part of the, I suspect, a part of the Chinese Communist Party. Elon Musk, not a fan of communism. Literally fucking whack, dude, okay? Yi Long Ma brings, uh, brings happiness to everyone around him. Okay, Chinese Elon brings happiness to everyone around him, is oftentimes very pleasant to be around. Elon Musk brings unhappiness to everybody and is constantly fucking complaining and boring, plus L, plus he's white, plus ratio. 
Elon Musk says, in the past, I voted Democrat because they were mostly the kindness party, but they have become the party of division and hate. So I can no longer support them and will vote Republican. Now watch their dirty tricks campaign against me unfold. Popcorn emoji. Legate says, you are useless. I will take over your power. Remember when we talked at Coachella? You are a bad person. I will obliterate you. You all right, dude? What the fuck? <laughs> Chill. Like, I don't like Elon Musk either, but what is this? This is like... Like some straight anime shit. This tweet is fucking wild too. I don't think he's okay. Okay, to be fair though, I mean, why is Exxon rated top uh, 10 best in the world for environment, social, and governance? Like, he's not wrong. That is kind of stupid. And not kind of stupid. That's just like antithetical. What the fuck? It's like when they do this shit with like Raytheon, like the Human Rights Watch will be like, Raytheon is the best place to be a, a a gay guy. Sick, dude. Okay. Yeah. No, it's it's awesome. I mean, he's salty, but like, he's not wrong on that point. Why? Why the fuck is it the fault of social justice warriors? Who the fuck are social justice warriors? Is it straight brainworms? Oh yeah, I freak, I keep forgetting. Yes, I see the good point that he's raising here, and then I forget the idiotic uh, seasoning that he had to add on to it. Yes, dude. The SNP global ratings is has been taken over by the woke mind virus and the woke SJWs love Exxon. Like, that's, he's so good. He's so fucking brilliant, dude. Oh, sir. Sir. Epic zing, sir. I love your posting, sir. You're so good. Ooh. Elon. Oh, Elon. Daddy, I love you. We're going to the fucking moon together. Ooh, like, what? What fucking SJW is a fan of fucking uh, Exxon, dude? What? What? Who are the SJWs of low Exxon? What was it? Who was it that had the bit about LGBTQ-friendly drones? Everyone has made that joke, including myself. Because it's so accurate for these demonic companies. Yeah, exactly. Elon probably wants the right to talk him up so his stock goes back up. I just don't know what the fuck is wrong with him, okay? I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's so much. For Twitter to deserve public trust, it might be po it must be politically neutral, which effectively means upsetting the far right and the far left equally. Yeah, except, you know. Um, we already know, whenever a fence-sitter uh, asshole says some shit like that, you know they're about to say some of the worst things you've ever heard in your entire life. That's always like... That's always, like, the equivalent of someone, like, cracking their knuckles. You know what I mean? Right before, like, they, they tell you... Right before they give you the one-two punch of, like shit that your grandfather thinks you know what i mean like oh yeah i'm a centrist by the way and also uh segregation is separate but equal you know it where was the point to me how segregation was racialized please far left and the far right i mean that's an exaggeration obviously but whenever someone says some shit like this okay they 100 percent are just like basically hiding their incredibly reactionary uh, agenda which is not very hard to hide in this situation. I mean, Elon Musk is like g going off about Democrats and, and saying he's going to vote Republican. It's not surprising. Slovak's new video about ACU gambling. I would like it, but I am not able. I have not seen his new video about ACU gambling. He has Asperger's, dude. Project Veritas is real a Twitter exec discriminating against him. Okay, first of all, let me just point to something here. If you are a 13-month community subscriber and you fucking post a Project Veritas video in my chat without going, lol, look at this crazy Project Veritas video, like, like, let's make fun of it. But if you find yourself agreeing with Project Veritas, you need to be put on a fucking space rocket, one of Elon Ma's uh, space rockets, and, and be shot into Mars, okay? Are you okay? What are you like? What you, you think Elon Musk cares about like ableism, dude? Yeah, yeah. Motherfuckers are in here like Project Veritas doing really good disability activism today. Yeah, no, dude. As you know, if you have fucking uh, some kind of disability, if you're on the spectrum, dude, oh my God, if you have autism, you could just be a fucking billionaire piece of shit. This is how easy to dupe you, dude. What the fuck? It's a Veritas New York Post article and you're literally... What's wrong with Project Veritas? No shot, guys. Do you know what this is? Do you know what Project Veritas is? Do you know what they do? They are one of the worst hatchet men in the business, dude. They literally go and try to cut, like, 
these crazy videos, uh, deceptively edited videos. They're the, they're the clip chimp uh, for the Republican Party. I don't. That's why I'm asking, lol. Okay, well, for those of you who don't know, I'm surprised no one knows this. I talk about them from time to time. But Project Veritas is a... Uh, is an organization that would no longer be in existence in a just world, but unfortunately we live in a fucking reactionary dystopia. They did take down Acorn successfully. Um, and, and they are famous for just lying all the time. And in the most outrageous ways possible. Like, they, they literally will, like, deceptively edit shit. Remember the Planned Parenthood is, like, eating and selling aborted fetuses uh, saga? You guys remember that? That was Project Veritas. They literally just straight up lie. They cut videos. They deceptively edit videos. And, and sometimes it's just straight up fucking lie. And then when they lie, they pump it through the Republican news networks. And everybody now will... Uh, I mean, they, they just lie about shit. And, and people will talk about it. You see this link, man, point right? Nazisussy.com slash truth. I agree 100%. No cap. Yeah. They literally would say like, um, they they would just like make shit up and and say that uh, uh, you know uh, they were Planned Parenthood was like selling fucking uh, baby parts. Remember when uh, 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 what's his face the the pedo guy who was uh, running? Oh my god, my brain is not working. The pedophile guy in Alabama, Roy Moore. He was running for uh, he was running for an election, and uh, the Democratic Party was uh, obviously, understandably, attacking him for that. And Project Veritas went to uh, Washington Post with like this big ass fucking camera uh, hidden on a bag, and they tried to like bait the Washington Post into fucking believing uh, in like a fake victim, just so they could be like, "Look, they believe anyone." I know. I said the pedophile, and everyone was like, w "There's so many." They were huge in part of Trump's plan in PA to stoke election misinformation when they paid that post office worker to lie about seeing his boss misplaced ballots. Yeah. Yeah, they pay people. They are the reason why the, the Ilhan Omar shit. Yeah, remember what they said about Ilhan Omar? Like, part of the reason why the whole, like, Ilhan Omar has the gross, fucking disgusting attacks against Ilhan Omar or have any kind of staying power. Tucker Carlson will also turn around and, uh, and, and you know, platform them regularly. Those are the full 10 page PDF on how COVID being a hoax. Yeah. So those are the guys. They are the worst of the worst of the worst. Okay. They're some of the biggest fucking demons of all time. They, they have never been truthful ever in their entire fucking lives. Anyway, but usually they'll just find like some random fucking dude that works at a company. Okay. They'll get him drunk. This is their, this is their, this is the way they operate. Okay. Yeah. This was awesome. Woman tried to do Washington Post with false claim about Roy Moore paper says. Also, going to the New York Times for an uh, article on Washington Post is always a horrible idea because newspapers are the pettiest fucking bitches on the planet, for the record. Just fun fact, if you didn't know this, always go directly to the source. Like, example, if a newspaper, if one of the big newspapers breaks a fucking story, the other newspaper that covers that story will do it in the snarkiest way possible. Low key. Um, always. So this will not be well written, in my opinion, but maybe I'm wrong, but... <laughs> A woman with ties to a right-wing activist group falsely claimed to the Washington Post that she had conceived a child with Roy Moore, the Republican Senate candidate in Alabama, when she was 15, the newspaper reported on Monday afternoon. That was Project Veritas' is doing. They, they created like a fake victim in a sea of very real victims that the Washington Post had found for uh, uh, very real victims of Roy Moore. A person who literally was not allowed to go to the mall. A person who was banned from his own hometown's mall. Why? Because he was harassing and trying to fuck 15-year-olds at the mall. Understand that. The woman identified by the papers, Jamie T. Phillips, uh, claimed in recent interviews with the reporters that she had an abortion after having sex with Moore in 1992. But the Post said that it had discovered inconsistencies in her account and evidence that the woman concocted. The sensational claim to try to dupe the reporters and coax them into discussing the political impact her story could have on Mr. Moore. A reporter with the Post confronted the woman about the holes in her story on Wednesday. And then Post journalists saw her on Monday morning entering the offices of Project Veritas, a conservative group that films undercover videos. The organization trying to goad them into revealing biases or unethical schemes to discredit the news media. And they got fucking owned. But the Republicans don't care. They do not care. They literally do this all the time. Like, they know that Project Veritas lies all the fucking time. But they still keep beefing up Project Veritas because it, it, it does stuff like this. It gets people like even members in my community to turn around uh, and go, Oh, did you see this Project Veritas video? 
Here, let me tell you what they do. They get some fucking guy, oftentimes like really like low level dude, okay? They greatly beef up their the low level dude's importance, make it seem like he's like a high level executive. They get them fucking drunk as fuck. They put a secret camera up while they're having a conversation. Uh, and deceptively edit shit. They like goad them into being like a, a false sense of security, and and goad them into uh, you know goad them into like saying crazy shit while they're fucking drunk, and then deceptively edit out all the parts where they come across normal, and also edit out the parts where they're like trying to get them to uh, you know say some crazy shit, and that's it. It's not like a deep fake, but they always get like some random fucking dude. Uh, to to say whatever the fuck under the uh, you know under alcohol under the influence of alcohol like sometimes it'll be like at the top of the hour there's a six second ad break and if you no longer want to see those ads like all you need to do is subscribe right and you're like come on bro how did you know that well and then the guy will literally just be like for you can subscribe for five dollars or for free with the twitch prime as long as you have an amazon prime account connected to your twitch account you get one free prime subscription a month and you're like oh come on dude it's crazy how do you know that um but yeah or you're just, you know, you can get gifted a sub if you're lucky. Here's the woman ad break now. George of the George. Thank you for the five tier one gift subs. All right. So now with that in mind here, I'll give you a little bit more information about Project Veritas. So you understand. Um, yeah. Illegal ballot harvesting by Ilhan Omar's campaign. That was falsified. Left wing Wisconsin groups targeted by men tied to Project Veritas. Diamond dog operations surprise mail in and absentee voting. Um, they did the failed Washington Post thing, which we talked about. Project Veritas was served with a restraining order. Um, they're a right-wing provocateur known for a series of de deceptive videos attacking targets like Planned Parenthood and Acorn, a community organizing group. As of 2017, Project Veritas main targets with the mainstream news media and left-leaning groups via undercover stings that involve using false cover stories and covert video recordings meant to expose what the group says is media bias. Polonius and Atomic Stalin. Thank you for the five of the subs. Asmongold taking over news on Twitch. Yes, dude. Um... Uh, offering a uh, 24 seven coverage to the Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial is actually taking over news media on Twitch. You're right. No, that's how this works. That's, that's news media, news media, but like only for Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. I like Asmongold. Um, don't join the discourse. If you aren't a journalist, what do you mean? Oh, you're just being fucking stupid. Oh, you're just like trying to get me to ban you today. It's weird. Okay. Aren't you having a little Project Veritas agent today, Mike and PA? Yeah, I'll have them on in a little bit. I mean, how much other news could there really be? Yeah, no, it's just... I like Asmongold, but, like, you know, I'm not going to fucking literally do 24-7 reacts to a court case uh, that involves Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Um, there's a lot of... <laughs> there's a lot going on <laughs> in the world and in America. And, um, you know, that's it. It's newsworthy to a certain degree, but not the end all be all. You know what I mean? Yes, we are going to have uh, a person with personal first hand involvement from uh, Project Veritas, Mike from PV, in a little bit. I think it's unbearably cringe how everyone suddenly became a body language expert, which is already a dumb type of expert to begin with because of that trial. Yeah, no, I know. It's just. I am just watching from afar. MRA freaks are magnifying it. I feel like, no, it's not just the MRA freaks, dude. Radfems have fucking joined, the, joined in on the fun too now. Like, the incels and MRA guys had their fucking month-long, like, parade. And, and they, they definitely took it too far, obviously. But now you got the fucking Radfems also popping off. But, of course, they can't pop off on the fucking incels because... The incels will turn around and like say horrifying things to the rad fems, the fem cells. So then they pop off on people like me, who has like a more normal approach to the covering the fucking uh, issue. Yeah, now they're no, they're they're out there. Trust me, <laughs> they're fucking they're in here right now, probably. Dude, people want to start drama between you and Asma for ages now. This is drama bait. Why would there be drama? I don't give a fuck. I just said that like. No, Asmongold popping off with the with the trial is not a bad thing. I don't give a shit. Um, I just I'm saying that like you know it's not news. Saying that Amber Heard and Johnny Depp are the only news, uh, you know, it's the only type of news coverage that you can have is is fucking stupid. It sucks that fem cells are targeting you, but they're still incredibly tiny compared to the internet acting like incels for the past month. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, for sure. Um, was fear end this morning? No, we just like shot a little uh intro. Stop talking about Asmin is bait. Move on. Yeah. All right. Um, 
Also, mods, you can ban the Asmongold uh, uh, news uh, guy chatter, who was very clearly probably drama baiting. Literally the biggest story since 9-11, and you're acting like it's just some celebrity show trial where hundreds of thousands of people are self-reporting their insecurities online? Yes. That's a good one. I did hear the new intro song. It was pretty funny. Uh, Veritas specifically target the right-wing QAnon team, but also left-winning people who are generally more skeptical of mainstream media. What? Veritas specifically targets the right-wing QAnon team? Oh, 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 you're saying their target audience. Yes, you're right about that. Veritas, Project Veritas goes after and, like, targets or tries to, uh, tries to fucking, uh, you know, uh, push certain narratives that... My house, bro. Uh, anyway. Everybody shut the fuck up about fear and molding, please. Let's, can we just fucking uh, get back to the matter at hand? So... They, they uh, launched a political option with a site set on high-profile campaigns and organizations called Project Veritas Action in 2014. Um, they routinely lie about shit, but uh, having said that, let's take a look at this latest... Uh, they're implementing all these rules, that there's, and Elon wants to dismantle them, then technically our ideology has led us to not making money, because we're not making money. And Elon wants to turn it the other way so that we can make money. The rest of us who have been here believe in something that's good for the planet and not just to give people free speech. Wait, this isn't even that bad. What the fuck? I mean, he's drunk, but even then, like... Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought he was gonna say, like... He's literally saying, like, uh, you know, tw Twitter is trying to uh, maintain, like, a, a sanitized space where conversations can happen. And, and that's maybe playing a role in Twitter not being as profitable, right? But even then, it doesn't matter because, like, then people are just not doing, like, mass harassment campaigns and shit, which people still do, by the way. Okay? He has Asperger's. Yeah, yeah, I know that. So he's special. Wait, why did they, why did they cut that? What else did he say? Special needs. You're literally special needs. <laughs> so, I can't even take what you're saying seriously. I mean, Elon Musk retweeted a video of a senior Twitter executive mocking the billionaire for having Asperger's in a footage where he also hit out, hit out at free speech. That's it? Where's more? Alex Martinez was secretly recorded condemning the man who could be his next boss uh, to an undercover reporter from Project Veritas. Dude, honestly, like... As someone, who get, as someone who's the recipient of death threats quite regularly on Twitter, I think they should just, like, allow it further. Especially towards journalists that write articles like this, okay? Straight up. Like, I, I probably get more death threats than most journalists, but, like, journalists should, I think, like, maybe that fear would be a better motivator for them to, like, actually do a decent job. You know what I mean? Straight up. Like, if this is, like, if this is your fucking article, if you're writing, <laughs> if this is the type of shit you're writing, like, I don't know. And the other part is, like, the, the kill yourself stuff. Like, Twitter, like, you can't say kill yourself on Twitter. It's, like, sometimes I just, you know, sometimes I really want to write that. And that's, I think, hindering my free speech. So Elon Musk should buy Twitter and, like, let me write kill yourself to people uh, if I want to. It's just so relaxing. Lead client partner, literally just some guy who's, like, middle management for networking. That's what I'm saying. They find, like, they find, like, some mid-level Andy. Okay? They find some, like, mid-level Andy. They get him drunk. And then he says some dumb shit. And uh, they say some dumb shit. And then they just, like, they clip them, and they cry about it for a, a news media cycle. This guy doesn't even exist on Twitter or LinkedIn. How do we know it's not just an actor? I mean, that they've done that before as well. But I'll tell you this much. Project Veritas will never give you a full unedited video, okay? And they'll never show you their, uh, the, the, the things that they're saying to get to this point, to get him to say shit like this. This guy's going to get fired, and on top of it, we're calling him mid-level Andy. I mean, it is true. This guy's the actual real CEO. The other CEO is just a body double. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Um, besides the ableism, he didn't even say anything bad. Yeah, literally. And his, like, ableism was, like, light ableism, too. It wasn't, like, fucking... Like, how are you going to be like, oh, Elon Musk, like, you're literally special needs? How are you not going to call him the R-word? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if you're going to go off... If you're going to go off, like, at least go the full way, you know what I mean? He didn't even say he was R-worded. Like, he just said, like, oh, he's special needs. He's literally special needs. He did diet ableism, dude. That was tame. That was tame. <laughs>
Elon just tweeted the hard R word. The R word. He just tweeted, look. Dude, are you okay? Why are people like this, bro? What the fuck? Do I have an N word pass if I have a black friend? Okay, dude. Fucking weirdo, dude. What's wrong with you? That's not even. I already looked at that, dude. Shit, fucking timeout, dude. You need to be on timeout. First video, dude, calls Twitter staff commie as fuck. Twitter engineer recorded saying commie as fuck staff censors the right. Love that. So do you think there's a difference between Twitter's definition of free speech and Elon's definition of free speech? Twitter does not believe in free speech. Elon believes in free speech. What do your colleagues say about it? Like, they hate it. Some of my colleagues are like super left, 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 left. You know, Jobs are at stake. He's a capitalist. So we weren't really operating on capital small anymore. It's very social. <laughs> Twitter was operating very socialist, dude. Yeah. When I watch videos like this, I'm like, dude, a giant mega corporation under a capitalist organization of the economy is operating like a socialist. Why? Uh, because they don't let you say the N-word at, at work or something? Well, yes, this giant mega corporation is socialist because everything bad is socialist. Actually, everything, literally everything bad in capitalism is socialist, actually. He's right, though. Twitter hasn't generated any return on share price on investors since going public. <laughs> What's breaking about this? There are thousands of people like this in tech. I know. It's not even like a fucking story. But it is pretty funny because it's like... The funniest thing about this is that they're trying to use these interviews to prove the commies are in Twitter, but they're literally interviewing right-wing people who work at Twitter. Yeah. I... Yeah, they're getting like the remaining right-wing guys to get fired. You know what I mean? Can you imagine... Project Veritas goes and finds like the actual right wingers that work at Twitter only to get them fired because they're like, yeah, it sucks. It's socialist. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's new to you if you're 85. Yeah, these are, oh, this guy is not an executive, okay? Like, it's like we're all like communist. <laughs>。calling the left-leaning workplace commie and admitting the platform censors free speech。yeah of course they censor free speech。what the fuck kind of stupid take is this。has twitter ever said that they're like pro free speech by the way。like have they ever said that。so i'll pause it。i don't understand why they would be pro free speech。it's a fucking company of course it's not pro free speech。hey hey hey let me explain something to you。wait till you find out about how like uh, authoritarian the capitalist work structure is。where you know your bosses。will literally fucking dictate what you do as a whole ass adult with your life uh where you know you spend 80 percent of your fucking adult life yeah you're under an authoritarian leadership technically you know that's that's how that works jack dorsey used to get that say that shit to get support from libertarians i mean it's so stupid it's like um have you ever seen any screenshots of conversation between engineers on blind it's insane it's like a bunch of rich 4chaners of course dude of course keep watching he said they turned him left there i think we all know the stories about the political leanings of people at, uh, at twitter's uh, stance if elon gets hired they're like we're out but for me when i saw this what i found interesting was uh what i've said before is it's a business decision you got to take a look at it from twitter's perspective people like ben shapiro are memed for saying debate it's just funny because like my man is so desperate for some pussy that he's like out here being like yeah it's commie it's so commie please fuck me okay he's like yeah yeah, whatever you want. It's like, yeah, a tw Twitter, communist, straight up. They literally have workers' councils. We executed an executive the other day. A shareholder came in and we just straight killed him. Nobody knows where the bodies are. Please fuck me. Please, I will say anything you want me to say. Please, I literally have not felt the touch of a woman in years, okay? Please. Yeah, th there's guillotines in the... They are literally transing people, okay? They're so communist. They're forcibly effeminizing literally all the dudes, okay? Please, please fuck me. I will say anything, anything you want me to say. Okay, let's see what else he's got to say. Twitter wants to censor bullying and harassment. And the idea of free speech... Wait. Because wants to censor... Wait! He, he just says, like, yeah, Twitter wants to censor bullying and harassment. So it's not... Per yeah, okay. Because Twitter wants to censor bullying and harassment. And the idea of free speech is that you can bully and harass people. Yeah, wait. Why do people look at this and go, yeah, that's fucked up? <laughs> Yo, that's awesome, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs>
<laughs> no, I love. I mean, th- to be fair, I am a little bit pro bullying and pro harassment <laughs> on Twitter, especially. But oh, never mind. Um, and Twitter does not believe in this value. That's a problem because it's not conducive to a business. If you want to run a business, like even Facebook or Instagram, they don't want people bullying and harassing, like or even, or even YouTube. They straight up any toxic behavior. They're like, nope. You can't have it. Example, like, you bully a transgender. If the right thinks it's okay, the left does not. Ideologically, it does not make sense, like, because we're actually censoring the right, not the left. Okay, wait. I love the idea that, like, someone watched this video and came and was like, this guy's fucking such an awful person. Like, Look at all of the awful things that Twitter is doing. What is this? Is this a fucking bonus, dude? This is the best Twitter has ever looked in years, okay? He literally just said, yeah, like, you know, free speech, you should be able to bully people and harass them. The right wants to harass trans people, and the left doesn't. And, you know, because of that, twi- Twitch, uh, tw- not Twitch, Twitter is actually censoring the right for harassing and, and bullying trans people. What? This guy's getting... This guy's literally fucking defeating the arguments that they are launching without even recognizing it. Everyone on the right wing will be like, bro, it's okay to say, just gotta tolerate it. Like, did they try to make Twitter look good? What's going on here? What the fuck? Hate me, right? They, the, the right wants to own the lib. TikTok is. Okay, I don't, I don't so care the about this. Uh, I know plenty- I'm not going to watch this. Uh, I, I, is he a chud? I don't get it. I think he's just like a normie engineer, dude. Like, there's. do you guys not know how apolitical people are? They watch, like, their fucking dumbass, like, cryptocurrency podcasts and shit. And you guys have not, like, do you not have any, like, normie friends in the real world? Obviously, it's a little bit different for me because I'm, like, literally 24-7 doing propaganda. So even all my normie friends are at least, like, somewhat understanding of, like the way I see the world and, and probably like form their opinions a little bit further that way. But like, but yeah, you have like a normie friends and shit that uh, probably are like, yeah, I love that, you know, leave. What's the guy's name? One that have Elon Musk on his podcast. Like they love normies love watching like Joe Rogan and other like adjacent podcasts and, and, uh, you know, developing their ideas on, on being apolitical and being pro free speech from that. Yeah. Lex Friedman. That's what I was thinking of. Like, that's it like ratioing people are saying they're dumb harassment is coordinated doxing spot incredible threats etc uh it, it's just so so stupid someone i know got a temp ban for saying jp looked like a wrinkled string bean in response to that sports illustrated tweet um my only normie friends are white so it makes sense that they can conveniently be apolitical yeah that's what i'm saying like a lot but <sighs> anyway the point is you know, they, they have cringe beliefs. That doesn't mean anything about the the company. And also, he didn't even say anything wrong in there. So, like, kind of odd for Project Veritas to come out with a fucking cell phone like that. Where they're like, yeah, Twitter is just banning the right because they're harassing trans people. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's... You got a problem with that? That's crazy. Um, but yeah, Elon Musk is fucking losing his mind, uh, obviously. And he's like coming out as a Republican and saying like, people are attacking me because I'm a Republican. Yeah, dude, we know, like, we know we've been known. Okay. We've known that you were a fucking Republican, dude. Like, what, what do you mean? Like the only reason why you were voting for the democratic party, if you were, is because, you know, they were probably a little bit more open to giving you, uh, additional subsidies. You know what I mean? In, in the green energy sector, which Elon Musk's entire fucking Elon's entire business does not revolve around like him being a fucking innovator or a tech leader, okay? His entire business revolves around government subsidies, straight up. Point to a fucking singular thing Elon Musk has right now, one of the singular properties that he has that is not over-reliant on fucking uh, government subsidies in some respect. You don't you don't have one. There is none. Okay? I'm not saying it's bad, like and I I've said this many times like I should love someone like Elon Musk. Right, I should love someone like Elon Musk. He is, he is technically supposed to be championing uh, uh, government subsidies, moving away from the fossil fuel industry to the green in, uh, to the renewable energy industry. Right, like that's a good thing. Ultimately, that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. Except he fucking sucks, 
and he constantly cries about taxes and uh, and and the woke media and has this like insane cult following of like other uh, capitalist simps these bootlicking fucking weirdos that are destined for a lifetime of poverty and a worse future overall than their fucking parents generation and yet they have been sucked into the capitalist dogmatic belief system that they will one day be a fucking sigma grind set elon musk style billionaire you know what i mean and they're just the most annoying fucking bootlickers on the planet it, it, i can't i can't deal with them they're so bad <sighs> America's lend leasing climate mitigation to him. I don't know how people don't see this privatization creating another environmental horror. I mean, that too. Uh, is Madison Cawthorn still going to be on the stream trying to watch you uh, wreck him with my mom? Ha ha ha. Uh, eventually, I think. And I, I would class myself as, as, as a moderate, and you know, neither Republican nor, nor Democrat. Um, and in fact, uh, I have voted, voted overwhelmingly for Democrats uh, historically. Overwhelmingly. Like, I, I'm not sure. I might never have voted for a Republican, just to be clear. Right. Um, now, now this election, I would. Okay. <laughs> the Democratic Party, now this election, I would. Okay. <laughs> the Democratic Party is overly, overly controlled by the unions and by the uh, trial lawyers, particularly the class action. Dude, that's awesome. Dude, he's talking about trial lawyers. Oh my God, this is like a 90, oh, that's so sick. Okay, you guys don't know this, but back in the 90s, Republicans used to say that, uh, you know, the Republicans were big like fans of tort reform, right? And they actually would say that uh, the Democratic Party is in the pocket of big law. And that's awesome to like bring back 90s like tort reform Republicans. That's awesome, dude. That's uh, that's actually pretty sick. I mean, that's because I'm, I'm a fucking weird nerd who likes politics. I find that to be like really cool. Um he, he, yeah, he's, he's bringing back the 90s Republican Party. It's awesome. Okay, so, yeah, he says, like, the Democratic Party is controlled by unions, I wish, and controlled by trial lawyers, fucking whatever the fuck that means. By the uh, trial lawyers, particularly the class action uh, lawyers. Um, and generally, if, you, if you'll see something that, doesn't, that is not in the interest of the, of the people, um, is, if, on the like they say, uh, the, Republican, the Democratic Party is in the pocket of, like, big law, like these, like, big law lawyers, like these fucking law firms that you know, want to constantly sue corporations um, instead of allowing corporations to just like reap the benefits of deregulation and poison people. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's like part of it. Like their argument is like, they can't say everybody kind of intrinsically understands. You can't just be like, no, I think that corporations should be able to poison water supplies. You know what I mean? Because if you say that, then people are gonna be like, no, that's insane. Shut the fuck up. So they have to find a good target. That's like, kind of uh you know faceless lifeless like a, a real villain so the real villain is not obviously the corporations corporations are good the real villains are the class action trial lawyers that just want to frivolously fucking uh, uh you know sue all these corporations for poisoning the fucking water supply or some shit like shut the fuck up dude you know what i mean like fucking chill dog um that's basically what uh that that old uh, school republican attitude comes from this is all because he considers everything a personal attack. A union was trying to form at Tesla, and he got a class action lawsuit because Tesla was shooting black people like dirt. So now it's all unions and trial lawyers. Yeah. So that's what he's saying there, okay? Uh, in the pocket of big unions, in the pocket of big fucking trial lawyers. Um, it's By the way, if you want to understand a, a, a more pressing example of that, for the record, is when like abor anti-abortion psychos will never say like women should directly be punished for getting an abortion. Only if you catch them off guard, if you catch them slipping, will they ever say like, yes, no, women, you know, harlots do deserve to be punished for having, you know, premarital sex, right? Um, or only like the, the fucking worst of the worst, like Ben Shapiro will say something along those lines. But normally you never hear that from abortion activists because the target is the doctors. They're the villainous, bad, scary doctors that are doing the murder, right? That's why they like go after uh, doctors and they go after the providers, like the abortion facilities and, and instead of like directly attacking the women, because if you were to directly attack like a 14 year old a rape victim trying to get a fucking abortion, you're going to look like a monster because you are a monster. So always remember that that's the same reason why they're, they, they don't attack the, the actual people guiding this, uh, you know, momentum towards like class action losses or whatever. They're actually attacking uh the the lawyers on the on the democrat side it's going to come because of the unions uh which is just another form of monopoly and the uh the trial lawyers uh, the, uh th that's where 
actions will be happening from the Democrat side. They're not in the interest of the people. And then, um, to be fair, on the Republican side, uh, there's, there's, if you say, like, where does something, like, not not ideal happening, it's because of corporate evil um, and uh, re religious zealotry. Um, but that's generally where the bad things will be coming from on the Republican side um, that are not representative of the people. So um, in, in the case of Biden, he is simply too, too much uh, capital. Dude, if you think Joe Biden is too much in the pocket of unions, you are literally a fucking psychopath, okay? I'm going to straight up say it. 10.3% unionization rate, America's unionization rate, and its fucking collective bargaining coverage is dog shit in comparison to every other comparable nation on this planet, okay? Joe Biden is not a fucking, like, leftist person at all. If you look to someone like Joe Biden, who literally told billionaires in a closed-door meeting, nothing will fundamentally change. Joe Biden himself, who was like, oh, yeah, we got to do $15 minimum wage. Oops, we can't do it. And, like, personally defeated that initiative but instead of whipping for it and instead of, like, fucking uh, uh, tweaking some procedural hurdles into, uh, into ensuring that this passes, $15 minimum wage, like... That guy, that guy's your fucking leftist? Like, what has he done? He hasn't done shit. What the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah, the Democratic Party is in the pocket of fucking big lawyers. Union-busting lawyers, you fucking nerd. Shut the fuck up. Captured by the unions, um, which was not the case with Obama. Um, so in the case of Obama, you could have, you know, he was sort of quite reasonable... Um, and I think he took more of a view of uh, that, you know, obviously you need to take that. I mean, at least he's right about that. Yeah, Obama was dog shit to fucking unions. Like, couldn't even pass car check after pushing for it. So, hey, look at that. He's not wrong. Obama was bad. At least Joe Biden, like, aesthetically panders to the unions. Uh, he had Chris Smalls over at the White House. I mean, that's pretty big. That doesn't really happen. He's, like, literally the first president in many people's lifetimes, including mine, to actually come out and say positive things about unions. So there is that. That is true. Joe Biden is one of the first presidents that has openly talked about unionization efforts in a positive capacity on uh, and, and, you know, mainstream at least some level of this argument. But, you know, other than that, I mean, it's, it's like super, super minor, super minor shit. That concerns the unions into account, but uh, there, there, are big, there are bigger issues at stake. And, and unfortunately, Biden does not do that.